As recently as a few years ago, there were progressives who at least paid lip service to the idea of securing the border. Now that idea is dead, its grave has been bulldozed again and again. On the left, the new policy is to abolish ICE border enforcement, make every city a sanctuary city, then give illegal immigrants welfare benefits and the right to vote. But don't worry, they're telling us, importing millions of new non-citizen voters isn't interfering in our elections. That's only what incompetent Russians do on Facebook. It's something better than that. It's the next frontier in civil rights. Ethan Behrman is a California radio show host, and he joins us tonight. So, Ethan, this is a question I've been asking to a number of my progressive friends in the last 48 hours. Why is it wrong for non-citizens from Russia to play a role in our electoral process, but okay for non-citizens from other countries to play a role in our electoral process? Both seem wrong to me. To Totally separate issues. Uh, the Russians are actually attacking us, undermining not only the election systems themselves, but the integrity of our federal elections. What we're talking about in cities like San Francisco is allowing um, immigrants who are here, who have children enrolled in schools, who are paying taxes, to vote for the local school board where we need them to be Ooh. participating and being active wait, but, for but wait, wait, positive wait, 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 wait a second. I mean, hold on. No, no, you don't know that. I mean, the Russians who hacked our election... Yes. Living here, some of them. I mean, you could have Russian agents living in the United States and they have a vested interest in the government of the United States and they're trying to affect the outcome of an election that determines who leads the United States. So by the standards that you just set out, that's cool. But somehow it's not cool because they're Russian or they don't vote Democrat. I mean, why, what is the difference? Honestly, I'm confused. Yeah, the difference is pretty clear and significant. GRU intelligence officers operating out of a, a, a data center in Moscow, for example, or an office in Moscow, who are actively attacking the databases of our local and state elections, who are actually attempting to interfere with, for example, our command and control systems for our critical infrastructure, a la black energy malware. Um, that is ultimately and fundamentally different than somebody who came no, here for a job no, that was brought here by an employer who have kids uh -huh. in school as required oh, because by law. Their kids they're, have to be in school. They're cool people. First of all, they weren't brought here by employers. That's that's not true, as you know. But oh, wait, hold on. Sure. Well, I, I'm still confused. Enticed. So the government of Mexico encourages people to come to the United States illegally and vote. They do. They say it out loud. That's okay with you because why? It's a foreign government that has different interests from those of the United States. It's hostile to the U.S. often, and they're seeking to influence our elections. But you're okay with that because why? No, because on federal elections, that's against federal law to vote if you're not a citizen. No, but so what's happening I've in never heard like a Boston single liberal is, complain about it. Oh, well, I, I, I only want citizens to vote in federal elections per federal law. So in, st in local issues, we have horrible participation by, by uh, Americans, and this is evidence in the Portland State University study. So for, like, city councils and mayors, horrible turnout, and it's basically old, we wealthy white people who show up to vote. So that's plantation-style politics that we're trying to encourage. Oh, it's white Instead people. of saying, let's get okay, more people... So Older, it, it, no, you know, it really wouldn't be a conversation talker. with a liberal fact, unless they Portland had some State casual University. racism in there attacking a group. That is a fact. On the basis it's data. The color. data shows totally that. cool. Not, we had a whole not, civil rights but, movement against it, but we're for it now. Right. I get that. Okay. No, that, I totally get it. But that's what the data okay. show, Tucker. But let me just, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the data show that the left is casually racist in almost every conversation you have with them, and no one seems to notice except me. It's so weird, but whatever. Let's just re very quickly get back to the topic, which is the line between legitimate voting and illegitimate voting. Mm -hmm. A lot of us believed that citizenship conferred the right to choose your government. That's what democracy is. The left is now saying that's not true. People who are foreign national citizens of other countries get to control our government. Okay, but only when the outcome helps Democrats. That is literally the position of the Democratic Party. And I'm just saying that's totally indefensible on logical grounds. Not that logic matters in 2018, but I just want you to acknowledge that I'm right. No, because federal law prohibits non-citizens from voting in a federal election. You can't vote for president or a congressperson or a senator if you're not a citizen. So would you be cool with Russians cities. hacking the school board? Would you be cool with Russians voting in a school board election? If they are here and they have children enrolled in that school district, yes, of course. That's I not a requirement. To be That's not a requirement that, that, for the election, as you know. Yeah. 
that, okay. that but we know the data again show that kids have a much better outcome in educational settings when the parents are involved and if we can get better parent involvement right. in yeah, local American schools, citizens, the kids do right. better. Okay. Well, whether well, whether you, you end up you. rounding Great. them up and shipping them back from where they came from, we want them to have better outcomes. And that is the goal. Ethan Behrman, great to see you. Thanks, Tucker. Well, one college for